Hey guys, we made it up to Hilltop. I'm Clint. This is Cody. This is Adam. About to make our way down to have a soup eye. So uh, we just parked the car right underneath the uh, cliff, hoping we don't come back to a big old boulder sitting on top of the thing. But um, it's about 6:40. About to make our way down. Shot of the trailhead here. Lots of parking. And they're leaving me. We're about to start our hike, leaving Hilltop. We drove in about an hour and a half from Peach Springs, staying at Kualapai Lodge. When you're making the drive in, just watch out for all the elk and all the cows. There's quite a few of them. I feel it in the back of my shoulders. Yeah, I feel something in my traps. Yeah, mine's know. like right below my traps. Well, it's not. I think I need to. Hot and like I'm just a little bit. Here, Dougie. Got us a new hiking partner here. She's attached. Good. Hi, GoPro. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Little cliff dwellings here. Yeah. So we made it down all of the uh, switchbacks, and we're finally leveling out in this. Was it drive creek bed? But kind of got the hard part over with. Hopefully, we'll see. Up there to the right, looks like that's like a Flintstone house. It's finally coming on us here. some water out of there that that morning that was short and uh, about that time the dude that helped me pretty good So we've been passing some hikers coming in or heading back up to the top. It uh, sounds like we're about two miles away from Supa. Talking to the camera. Oh, okay. Talking to the friends. But we're making our way.
starting to hit quite a bit more traffic. Coming to that Supa, passing lots of people now. Morning. Man, they're, they're, uh, they're... That would be a waterfall. You know, Instagram model? I mean, my, my legs feel pretty good. If only you had a uh, selfie bar. Are we talking to it? Uh, a picture or video? We just passed the Supai sign, and we're hearing some water off in the distance. But, uh. We're getting there. We're here water. We're getting close. First side of water. Aye, 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 aye. Nice. nice. Look just like the brochure. making it into the village of Supai. So they don't want me filming a whole lot in here, especially the people. So I don't know how much I'm gonna get to kind of capture. This is a nice place. Hello. Yeah. Oh, we're from Texas. Texas. Well, I'm, two of us from Texas and he's from Missouri. Let's get a little ginger beer. So we stopped at the uh, Cinella store. Got some breakfast burritos. When they start making burgers. Huh? When they start making burgers. I don't know, but not, not yet. Not yet. But we got breakfast burritos, a little chorizo, about $12. Mm, $12 for a breakfast burrito, but it's 100% worth it. But see, uh, Sin, the Sin Yellow store. There you go. And they're still innovative. Little church. All right, so we're here in Supai. We found a uh, found that we actually have some good cell phone signals. So we're checking in with everybody at home. Um, but yeah, so here we are. We're good to go. What were you about to do? I feel like hiking. I feel like one in a room. Go right there. I thought you were about to just power through it, man. Jen said she's delayed an hour. 
So let's see, we just passed, I forget what it is, Navajo Falls. There's so much eye candy, so much to look at, but we're trying to get to camp. You wanna see some eye candy? Yeah, show me some eye candy, there you go. So yeah, we're kind of trucking it to get to camp so we can get a good campsite and then um, hopefully come back and look at all this and enjoy it and swim in it and all that, so. The fry bread stand open. We're in the struggle right now. We're almost there though. It's hot. Oh man. Oh, that's the big boy. So we made the camp, guys. Woohoo! It's like a little summer camp. Woo. So, we finally made it to the uh, campsite. We've been tracking down the right campsite. There's camp places to camp everywhere, but it's kind of like Easter egg hunting to find the right one. So we got camp set up. There's a tent right there. Mr. Walford's got an extra tarp for us. Thank you, sir. You wanna to go to Mooney? Yeah. All right, about to see first side of Mooney Falls. This one's gonna be a lot bigger. Mooney Falls, about 200 feet up. Come on, Cody. Let's check it out. A little bit of a drop. 200 feet down there. A campsite. Hey, it's calling my name, buddy. So we got some chicken piccata and tagliatelle pasta for dinner tonight. Cody, what are you having? Maybe nothing, I'm out of water. I got a little bit. Yeah, I just need a little splash. 
Uh, I'm gonna have some ramen noodles and some tuna fish. Mm mm. Get you and some. I might get down here at the river and try to catch a little fish and eat it while it's still alive. A little marlin. Yeah, a little sushi. Adam, what are you having? Those those lightweight MRE? Yeah, they don't weigh anything. Heck yeah. Does this sit right here? Yeah, this sit right there. <laughs> What's up, guys? We're pretty shot, tired. We're uh, hanging out in camp. I'm borrowing this amazing camp chair. Got Cody up in the the hammock. Adam, you good? So we're just lounging out. What do we do today? We hiked. How many miles? We hiked oh, about 11 to get down here, and probably another couple back up to Havasu. And we went and checked out Mooney. We didn't go all the way down, but yeah, we're pretty beat. But uh, we've done dinner, cleaned up, and about to call it a night. We're going to be going to bed early tonight because we're going to try to do the confluence. The confluence or the confluence? I can't say either one. Say, say one. We're going down there to the Colorado River. We're going to go down the Colorado River. It's supposed to be 8.3 miles to make it down there to where the, the turquoise blue water mixes in with the Colorado River. So. Taking this river to the Colorado River. Yeah, we're going to float the river down. But, uh, but, yeah, we're pretty beat right now, so we're going to try to get a good night's sleep tonight. Uh, try to rest these legs a little bit and uh, see if we can make it down. It might be like a 17-mile day tomorrow. We do 17 tomorrow? I don't even want to think about it, but yeah. Yeah. My legs have fever. Here's our camp right beside the creek. But yeah, it's about to call tonight. Adam. Mm. Good morning. Everybody's up. We've had coffee, had a little breakfast. We're about to uh, try to do the confluence. It's uh, 6:48, 8.3 miles down there, and the same back. We'll be checking out Mooney Falls, Beaver Falls. See if we can get this done. Checking out Mooney Falls. Woo hoo hoo! All right, so we're heading down Mooney Falls. We gotta drop down 200 feet. It's pretty dang yeah, steep. You can kind of see what the terrain is like. It's pretty nuts. There's Adam. But my legs are fresh from that. I see light down there. We might barely just a cave glowing. Yeah, we did. Holy smokes. All right, cave number two. I don't know if you can see any of this. It's tight though. Ooh, it is slippery. This is, may have to shut this down on here. 
Well, we're gonna try. Try to keep the GoPro going here. Dang it, boy. Woohoo! I see Adam way the heck right there. There's Cody. I'm gonna turn you off to get myself down here without hurting myself. I see you at the bottom. White people. This is why you don't let your kids join the Boy Scouts. Oh man! Nobody else here. We just came down all that. We started about right there. It's sketchy as heck. See the ladder? Oasis down here. All right, so just to kind of recap, we started about 200 feet up. About here, we come down, come through two different caves, and then down all this mess right here, down to the ladders. Check out the ridiculous view. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't even know exactly where we need to go. We just got to go downstream. Yeah, I think you just take the path and go this way. Just waterfall after waterfall through here. So we gotta cross over straight this way. <laughs> Little oasis of green here, man. Trinity River. It's hardy. Beautiful and majestic. Hey, 
heading closer to Beaver Falls. About three miles from Mooney Falls, so. A pretty cool little trail. Beaver Falls. We uh, are almost to Beaver Falls. We're gonna kind of gauge and see how we feel by the time we get there. The confluence is a long way down there, so uh, we may just be doing Beaver Falls. But uh, his hammies are killing him. But uh, <laughs> so we'll give you an update, see what we're gonna do, see where we go. We may just be hanging out at Beaver Falls for the day. So this is the top end of Beaver Falls. We're still up high, but the whole area through here is, is Beaver Falls. Indian Palm tree. There I am.
can't see, that's Cody about right there. <laughs> Build my courage up, I'm gonna get up there. But right now I'm climbing up this ledge right here, trying to get past Beaver Falls. But uh kind of steep. It's bigger than it looks. Holy moly. This isn't sketchy at all. I'm putting this up while I'm getting across. This is stupid. This is crazy. That was good. All right, you're recording, homie. Backflip, do a gainer. <laughs> it feels freaking phenomenal out here. now So we're coming back from Beaver Falls, about to head up to Mooney. Yeah, this feels so good. Beaver Falls, good stuff. Beaver Falls, good stuff. Time for a little cool down. I'm gonna get a good old massage. Hamstring uh, health is important. Yep. A little Muay Thai is good for that, right? It's okay when I when I get back, I'll get some great hamstrings. Get a hamstring transplant. Mm -hmm. It'll be good to do. So we've almost made it back to Mooney Falls. We've got the biggest part of the hike done. Waterfalls everywhere. All right, so we made it back to Mooney. We took a little different trail. And there's a trail over here. All right, so we found another trail to make it back to Mooney. I'm gonna take my pack off for this one here. This is awesome.
much amazing. Forget your hat. about to make our way back on up we got a heck of a climb to get back out of here so it'll be interesting so uh yeah that's why we're about to head on back up got a little bit of a crowd though So yeah, we survived that. Happy. Felt cute. So, we had a much lighter day than we thought we would. We were gonna do the confluence, but we just made it to Beaver Falls and kind of hung out and swam in the waterfalls. So we got back to camp and we're like, you know what, we have a lot of daylight left. Cheeseburger sounds dead yum nice. So, we decided to walk to town. Capitalize on us, a hot meal. Walked how many miles? 18,000. <laughs> about three miles got all the way up there the store's closed what'd you have for dinner uh, <laughs> chicken, microwave chicken sandwich and some olives yeah it was excellent I had rice krispie treat and some hummus it was amazing so you saw a little winter dog that's winter was bigger than his body giant <laughs> so if you're gonna go you get a cheeseburger, make sure it's early in the day. Make sure they actually have cheeseburgers there. So yeah, we've been battling with these Catawba worms. They're freaking everywhere. We've been getting in our packs. Like you can just see they're all over our tents. But you come to have a soup by, just put them battling with them things the entire time. So we don't have much on the agenda today. Today's our rest day, so we're heading up to Havasu Falls and gonna find somewhere to kinda just chill out for most of the day, let our legs rest up a little bit. So we're just walking through camp right now. Yeah, I'm 
So even though we have a third night, we decided to go ahead and pack things up and try to head out here this evening. We've kind of had our fill. It's been a blast. It's been beautiful, but uh, we're going to go ahead and truck it out tonight. That way we're not so rushed tomorrow because we have a flight to catch in Phoenix. So we'll say goodbye to the campsite and we'll see you at the top. I can own out. Last view of the falls. It's gonna be a warm hike. So there's Navajo Falls. 50 foot falls is straight up that way. You didn't get to swim in these, but man, we had our fill from water. That was fun. The stretch between Havasu Falls and Supai Village, which is hot, it's sandy and hardly any shade. 